Hey, hey, you guys, how's it going? It's halfway through week two. This is Christy Data, and you are tuning into the Data Fit Lifestyle Show. So, today I am running out of energy. I'm not gonna lie. It is that time of day. I've been going 100 miles an hour, workouts, corporate job, all the other businesses that I have going on, and no excuses, but I am getting a little bit low on energy. So, I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of fun things that are um, I look forward to every time I do a show. So, your suit and your shoes. Okay, by far, the shoes are the cheapest thing throughout this entire process. So you can find them um, at different novelty stores, you can look them up online. I got a great recommendation from the woman that makes my suit, Gidget, and I will um, post in the show notes and also in the comments on YouTube where you can find my friend Gidget who actually made my suits. So I'm gonna show you the fun stuff first, the shoes. So I just got these delivered. Um, they are not comfortable. <laughs> but they will get broken in as I practice posing with my coach. And I like a strap that actually kind of wraps around the front of the front of my foot. You're more than welcome to do whatever you want to do, whatever's comfortable for you. Um, I just found that when I had a pair of like slingback shoes, when I was walking on stage and my nerves and you know, your feet get a little sweaty, well, at least I mine did, um, they started to flop when I was you know, posing on stage or walking, kind of almost like a flip-flop does. And that made me even more nervous. So I highly recommend, you know, trying on a couple different pairs of shoes, but if you have something or a style that you're comfortable with, go for it. So these shoes are made by Fabulicious. Yes, that is of course the name of the brand of the shoes, Fabulicious. And I'm really excited because they also come with the strap that I was talking about. So here they are. And I got lots of bling. And the heels also got some bling. <laughs> I know, when I get excited, my voice goes to a whole nother level. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So this is what I mean by the strap is kind of in the front. I wear a size 10, so I have big feet. Um, and the other thing that I'm changing up this season from last season is the platform here in my old shoes was completely flat. So. I like that, but I'm gonna give these a try because I've seen a lot of girls wear them. See how it's kind of curved right here on the bottom piece, so the toe's almost tipped up. Well, what I've seen and what my um, suit designer said is that she likes these because when you point your toe or when you're turning on stage, because of the curved bottom, it makes it a little bit easier. But again, you know, personal preference, whatever you guys find that's you know easy for you or comfortable. Um, I'm happy to share some more recommendations, but those things cost me, I think, $35.99, like super cheap. Um, and yeah, they're definitely not the most comfortable, but promise as you break them in and as you wear them, um, I know that this is probably a little bit weird, but I used to walk around in them when I was doing meal prep or if I was doing something simple around the house just to kind of get my feet acclimated. And then I also purchased a mirror I think you can get them at Walmart or you can get them at Target for like $10.99, $9.99. It's the tall mirror that you kind of tack on the wall. And I would set that up kind of in the hallway and this is when I was living in Denver. So as I was walking, I could just see myself and see how I'm walking and the shoes and kind of practice my walk onto stage because it's very, very important that the minute that you hit the top of that stairs before you go on stage, game on. And I'm really excited because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my camera and tripod and I want to film for you guys one of my posing sessions with my coach so you get an idea of what to expect. Okay, so we've covered the shoes. Next. So I ordered two suits this year and one thing that I kind of learned as I progressed into this um, there are different types of cuts for the bottoms of the bikini so that you have your amateur cut, you have your national pro cut, and then you have your pro cut, which is a micro cut. So I can also provide pictures of that in the comments section, um, but yeah, it's itty bitty teeny weeny. So my red suit, which is going to be my national debut suit, um, that came in today and it's really beautiful and I love the craftsmanship. Crafts, is it craftsmanship? Is that how you guys say it? Oh my God. But the suit is beautiful. The crystals were put on here by hand. So this is the suit. Oh my God, I 
it's getting real, kids, getting real. So those are the tops. So I have to try all of this on. Um, I'm not putting it on tonight. Like I'm simply burnt out and exhausted. Um, and then the bottoms, now don't be alarmed when I show you this, they are super itty bitty. And the other thing to note, um, and that you can buy, but at most shows they will offer this is called Bikini Bite, which is glue. So you're thinking maybe what, we glue this on? Yep. So they do glue on the back. Sometimes they'll glue on the front because as you're, you know, the day goes on, you're going to be moving around and we don't want any extra stuff hanging out, so to speak. <laughs> so this is the bottom and I love the sparkles. And then this is the national pro style cut. So it's much smaller. And then I will, um, I don't have my yellow suit. So I've got one in yellow that's coming. It's on its way. It just needed some more detail work. And that is the amateur cut. So when I get that one, I will snap a picture and I will put it on there or I'll just, you know, on the next time I'm on here live, I will send that to you guys so you can see it. So um, how to pick your suit. I actually did not know a single darn thing. So some of my friends, girlfriends are competitors. So my very first suit, I actually went with a girlfriend of mine who had competed multiple times. And I think that's best, honestly, find someone who's done this before that you know, like, and trust, and that you have you know, access to something. Um, I've certainly had friends that just buy them randomly online. I'm not that secure in that kind of thing. So I went to a professional su suit shop, good Lord, Christy spit it out today, and actually um, tried a couple on and I got very lucky, it was red. Um, I still have it and it was amateur cut. I should probably go get it, but I didn't think about that. Um, the one thing that was different was on the side here, because I have long legs, there were actually three tiers and the judges feedback, which you can ask for that as well. And I'll talk about judges and all that stuff um, on another session. But the judges feedback was that the three tiers, because my legs were so long, actually gave a visual effect of cutting them off and making them look shorter. That was not a good thing. So I highly recommend um, finding somebody who has done shows before. Um, please reach out to me. You can send me an email at strivehealthsolutions at gmail.com. You can also send me a direct message on Instagram or Facebook. It's Christy Data. And I'll be happy to connect you to my beautiful suit designer, Gidget. She's in the Denver area um, and she's fantastic. And she will you know, bend over backwards to make sure that you get high quality stuff if you don't have someone that you know that's done this before. So I'm super happy to help you guys. Um, but yeah, picking your colors. I mean, think about you know, your hair color and if you've ever been underneath stage lights, they are super duper bright. And if you've never been underneath stage lights, well, let me give you a little hint, it's hot it's hot and they're super bright. So I would think about um, if you've got lighter hair, I wouldn't go with you know lighter colored suit. I would pick something that pops like a nice jewel tone, maybe even um, you know a red or a green, maybe a royal blue. Um, and then if you've got darker hair like myself, I've worn a royal blue suit and red before. And so that's why I picked red again, but I wanted to be a little bit out of the comfort zone. So I picked out a yellow suit, which with the tan and the lights and everything else, I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. So I'm excited about that. But pick some colors that you like. And if you have the opportunity, go try some stuff on um, and then try the shoes on with the suit too. It, I don't know what it is. Even when I'm shopping for clothes, <laughs> I always have a pair of like fun heels with me because you know, Heels make the booty look good, they make the legs look longer. So I highly recommend that as well. Try on some shoes with the suit, kind of get a feel for what the look is. Now don't be like freaked out, like I will tell you I was freaked out the first time I put on a competition suit and I really thought that my labia and vagina were gonna be all over stage. Yep, I said it out loud, sure did. And luckily that's where this bikini bite or the glue that they put on you holds everything in place. <laughs> So it is a little uncomfortable. Um, I will tell you the first time I put it on, it was an interesting like kind of squirmy your booty kind of thing. But hey, it's part of the deal. It's part of the competition. So again, I'm super grateful for all of you. Thank you for tuning in and following me on this journey to my competitions and trying to attain my or win my pro card. It's going to happen. 
telling you. So that's it for this one, kids. So the next time I'm back on here, I want to talk to you guys about picking your coaches. I think that that's really, really important that you vibe and are aligned with the coach that you choose and that they have your well-being and your um, overall health and wellness as a priority because there are some things that you can do in these competitions that definitely can damage your health. So thank you again for tuning in. I'm so grateful for you. Please send me a message if you have any questions or suggestions that you want to hear or you want me to do an episode on about prepping for a competition um, and share this podcast with somebody. Yeah, somebody that you think would be inspired that would want to learn more about this. And again, thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. We'll see you next time.